What would you do if you have to repair your car in Turkey? I really don't even want to think about it. But if it comes to that, the answer is simple – get it fixed. Here you can find spare parts and repair shops for both regular maintenance and repairs, but it comes with a local touch. In this video, Tolerance Real Estate Agency talks about the specifics of Turkish car service centers. Subscribe to the channel and share the video with friends. Perhaps if not you, they might be heading to Turkey by car. What does a driver need to know and be prepared for? If you need to repair or service your car, you can search for an auto service on the map. However, when Turkish mechanics see a foreigner at their doorstep, the temptation to overcharge is sometimes irresistible. They haven't made much progress in overcoming this temptation yet. On the other hand, what were you expecting? Isn't it somewhat similar in your own country? Well, maybe not to the same extent. Not so much. You could hope for an official service center for your car brand. I tried. I called a large auto center. They said I could come in a month. But I've got an immediate breakdown and urgently need repairs. Yet it's also not easy to trust just anyone with your car. In such a situation, it's best to search for a private garage based on internet reviews. In some service centers in tourist cities, they speak decent English or even Russian. And it's even better to look for recommendations and reviews through acquaintances. A friend from the Tolerance Homes helped me find a service where he gets his car repaired. It seems like the agency knows places for all life situations. It's good to have friends who can suggest solutions. In the workshop I was awaited by its owner, Murat, who welcomed me like a long-list friend, as if we had known each other for ages. I was warned that's how it would be. Of course, despite the warm welcome, I was a bit nervous, because you never know who and how works there. But Murat elaborately explained the work process, the tools, the materials used. He guided me through all the premises, invited me into his office and explained how his staff operate. Is it your staff? His name is Buzi. Buzi. Say something. We all love cats. Murat showed me customer reviews and photos of cars with our national license plates on his lift. The equipment seemed to be fine. Of course, I aim to establish good relations. In Turkey they sort everything out. Eventually I decided to ask main question. Do you want to uh, take more money from foreigner than from Turk? <laughs> We have the economy very important mm -hmm. in Turkey because very very uh, expensive. The oil expensive, filter expensive. But I am every time uh, small money. But every time we are very happy in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see. It's your secret. Okay, okay. His team conducted diagnostics and quickly found the problem. Just as I suspected, the crankshaft sensor died. They ordered the parts, which took two days to arrive. Then, on the scheduled day, I arrived, and three hours later, I picked up my repaired car. Oh, no, 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 that's not my car. Mine is fine already. Sure, in my town, I would pay less for the job, and the sensor would be much cheaper if I'd brought it myself on AliExpress or Trendyol. But I'm not knowledgeable about auto parts, and I don't want to deal with returns if something doesn't fit. The main thing is, the car is now in working order, and I've made a new acquaintance in Antalya. In big cities, there are entire streets and blocks dedicated to auto service. Such an area of workshops in Turkey is called Sanayi. Here you can find regular tire repair shops, repair services and workshops for restyling. Having these workshops close by is quite convenient, as if it allows you to compare prices on the spot. The prices for repair work and servicing are on average around half of what you'd find in other European countries. And they are offered cheaper parts, especially if they are used or aftermarket rather than original. For instance, replacing a set of tires with alignment might cost approximately $40-$50. I had 18-inch tires replaced with balancing but without alignment for 500 lira, it's less than $20. Replacing a timing belt, including the cost of the belt itself and rollers, might range $70 or $100. The price, of course, greatly depends on the card brand. But remember about those temptations, right? Ah, it's time for a service appointment soon. As for estimating the cost of repairs after an accident, I can't say. I don't even want to think about accidents, definitely not in this video. But we've created a guide through this link on what to do and how to behave if, God forbid, you've involved in a car accident in Turkey. It's definitely worth watching. I hope in this video you found the answers that will help save time, nerves and money when you plan to travel to Turkey by car. For even more answers, we have comprehensive videos specifically designed for foreigners driving in this country. You can find the link on the screen and in the description. Thanks once again to Tolerance Agency, whose experts with their 20 years of experience in the real estate market know many interesting things about various aspects of life in Turkey and offer clients not just a service, but a true friendship. Seriously.
Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to not miss out on new videos. We cover and discuss things that others may not know or talk about.